Well, what we've done here at Boston University is identify and create a concept called creating the societal engineer. In fact, the phrase Boston University creating the societal engineer has recently uh, been trademarked by the U.S. Patent Office. It's a very powerful concept. And the fundamental philosophy behind the concept is that if, if, when you get an engineering education, and if that education creates not only a solid engineer, but builds into the individual a set of additional attributes, you can create somebody who is, has the most powerful foundation possible for orchestrating people from all forms of disciplines so that they can move organizations and society forward to improve our quality of life. So what are these attributes that the graduating engineers need in order to impact society and take advantage of this foundation? They, the first two are fundamental to engineering. They have to, be, have to have excellent quantitatively based creative problem solving skills. They also have to be well versed in a known engineering discipline because throughout life you have to go deeply into a subject matter. Those two are true of every engineering school in the nation. The other attributes are not as specifically and explicitly addressed through the design of curriculum. And they include things like excellent communication skills, not only to other engineers, but to people from all forms of backgrounds. Systems level thinking, which means what is the big picture? Why am I working on this? How do all of these individual technology components come together to, to make a functional integrated system that can be a product that can impact society? Uh, global awareness, which means how does different innovation change as a function of the culture and portion of the world that I'm designing the innovation for. Uh, an understanding of how public policy impacts technology innovation. A big one that we emphasize is creating engineers that have a passion for an understanding of the innovation process and the entrepreneurial mindset. Understanding not just the business of how an idea gets to be an invention out the other side, but the technology that goes into that. How do you go from a design on a computer of a new potential product to understanding the technologies that can actually manufacture the product, be they three-dimensional printers, be they robotic technologies, be they materials characterizations, to a product in which you would understand how to handle, say, supply chain and inventory issues so that you can mass produce that, produce that product for the market needs necessary. What is that process of going from the idea technically to a product that's mass produced for profit at the other end. Because if you don't understand that, you haven't invented something that's impacting society. You've just come up with a clever idea. And the last attribute we put into there is uh, what we call is social consciousness. And understanding that when you do all these things and you embrace an, the concept of innovation, you add quality of life to society because you've created a product. Someone wants to buy that product for their life and you've created jobs. It's a very fundamental, powerful impact engineers can have on society. Now, this creating the societal engineer is important to us because an undergraduate education, the most important purpose of that education is to create somebody who's well prepared for lifelong impact and lifelong success. And that's why you need to give them more than just checking off the box and say, I have a degree in a certain kind of engineering. I have an engineering foundation with additional attributes so I can impact and move society forward.